Hi, I am Ang Sam. Today, I'm going to introduce to you the most expensive, the largest pedal in the world, the Hyacinth Macau. Hyacinth Macau, stunning cobalt blue coloring and massive size will cause anyone to pause and take notice. Bright yellow around the eyes and at the base and the corners of the beak makes the largest of the Macau species appear to be in a perpetual smile. This is a pedal for someone who can afford a hefty price tag and who has space to spare. Uh, I uh, let you see the detailed figure of this Macau. This picture. Their color is mostly blue and yellow. Their size is large. They can live up to 80 years. Their sounds are more like a vocal communicator. Their interaction with the people is social. There are other birds in this family. Normal Macau, blue and gold Macau, green winged Macau, Hans Macau, which is the smallest, Scarlet Macau. Let's look at quick facts. Hyacinth Macaus are the largest parrot measuring up to 40 inches in length. The Hyacinth Macau's beak lacks the ridges other Macau species have. Its scientific name means bill without teeth. The Hyacinth Macau's tongue is black with a yellow stripe running down the side of it. Their diet and nutrition based on pet food. The Hyacinth Macau is possibly the most stunning of the Macau family and is certainly the largest. It is the largest of all parrots. Originally from Brazil, Paraguay, and Bolivia, the Hyacinth is the Great Dane of companion birds, with a mature male reaching over 40 inches in length. Very few people actually have a Hyacinth Macau as a companion and will probably only have the pleasure of seeing one in a zoo or a larger bird shop. Despite its size, penchant for destruction, loudness, and expense, this blue Macau is the penultimate companion bird for the person who has the time, patience, and worry, worry to properly keep this beautiful beast. The Hyacinth Macau is a stunning cobalt color all over its body, with a ring of bright yellow around its eye, and the same color yellow at the base and the corners of its beak. It is often referred to simply as a blue Macau. The Hyacinth is not twice as large as other large Macaus, though its big personality makes other Macaus seem like dwarfs in its presence. The Hyacinth Macau lives primarily in the scrub range at the outskirts of the rainforest, though its large range also includes grasslands and lightly forested regions. It is an endangered species. There are an estimated 2,500 Hyacinth Macaus left in the wild today. Destruction of their environment, hunting for feathers and food, and illegal poaching for the pet trade have contributed to the Hyacinth declining numbers. Eggs and nestlings have some natural predators as well. The Hyacinth Macau is part of many conservation programs, the Species Survival Plan, which helps to ensure the survival of select species, and the World Wildlife Fund Brazil, 
which has had their Hyacinth Macau project going for 10 years, monitoring Hyacinth Macau's setting up artificial nests and working with the local landowners to protect the species are among them. Another reason why these birds are so rare, both in the wild and, and in the pet trade, is because they develop much more slowly than companion birds. Babies flash at about 13 weeks, but they don't become fully functioning adults for another six months. Breeding age begins at about seven years of age. These birds can live to be more than 80 years old if cared for properly. The right owner for a uh, Hyacinth Macau is someone who has either kept many birds successfully before or someone who has done a lot of research, has consulted the experts, and knows exactly what they are getting into. Still, the Hyacinth is not a great first bird simply because it can be a handful. Hyacinth Macaus need a very specific diet. In the wild, this bird's diet consists almost wholly of palm nuts from two specific types of palm trees. Hyacinths harvest the nuts from the trees in the wild. Though the bird also has a very characteristic way of finding the nuts already stripped of their tongue, fibrous, our coating. Hyacinths forage in the cattle lands looking for dung containing the nuts, which are indigestible to the cattle, but easier for the hyacinth to open. The cow has done most of the work. The hyacinth macaw's diet is very high in fat, and though you may not be able to find palm nuts, especially those pre-digested by cattle, you can sub substitute uh, Brazil nuts, walnuts, almonds, uh, macadamia, coconut, pistachio and cashews. You will probably never see an obese hyacinth macaw. They seem to met metabolize fat very easily and in fact need to be encouraged to eat anything else, such as fruits and vegetables, which should be fed daily. Of course, a good seed and pellets based diet can be offered as well. This large bird needs an exceptionally large housing area. Be willing to devote a large part of their home to this bird. A regular cage isn't appropriate in this case. Not only are most commercial cages too small, the hyacinth macaw can easily break out of them. A custom cage or one of the very largest commercial cages would do. Though a full room, patio, and other safely enclosed bird-proofed area is better. All birds benefit from flying, and this bird will need a lot of room if it's going to enjoy this important exercise. Even a hyacinth macaw with trimmed wing feathers needs plenty of room to flap and clamber around. Hyacinths can be very destructive and need lots of wooden toys and branches to chew. A sturdy play gym is a must. Though even the sturdiest commercially built play gyms will have a hard time withstanding the hyacinth's strong beak. Large, safe, replaceable play trees are a good bet too. This bird, like all parrots, needs a lot of free time daily to play with its humans or just hang out. 
It is a social bird, usually seen in pairs or in small groups in the wild. They are not loners and will language without company. Also, confined hyacinth will become cranky and neurotic and can begin to self-mutilate and scream excessively. They will get along with other birds, particularly new world parrots, but individually, in, individuals should be introduced earlier on. Often called a gentle giant, the hyacinth macaw is indeed affectionate, but gentle it is not. Hyacinths subdue very easily, but they tend to want to play rough with other hyacinth macaws. And with their person, its beak carries over 200 pounds of pressure per square inch. That means that it could snap a broomstick in half with one crunch. Even a very tame hyacinth macaw can still be nippy, if you could call that big, big nippy. But that is usually playful behavior. Because its beak is so intimidating, this bird is best kept by a person who is not daunted by the thought of being bit bitten. There is no guarantee, even with the tame, tame, tamed uh, bird, that the occa occasional bite will not happen. If you have close neighbors, you may want to reconsider getting a hyacinth macaw. This bird is extremely loud and prone to screeching. One hyacinth might not be so annoying to neighbors, but a pair will pump up the volume. Also, a loud hyacinth macaw can call the attention of bird nappers looking to sell such an expensive bird. So make sure to keep your bird safe from the potential theft. Hyacinth macaws are not the best talkers among the macaws, but they will learn a few favorite words and phrases and repeat them over and over. These birds are highly intelligent and may learn to contextualize certain words as well. Hyacinth macaws are especially prone to overgrown beaks and need a steady supply of safe items to chew. As with other macaw species, hyacinth macaws are susceptible to proventricular uh, dilatation disease, macaw wasting disease, um, stachosis, and etc. A diet catering to a hyacinth macaw's special needs as well as regular health exams is key to maintaining good health. Hyacinth macaw is not a common bird to keep, but uh, it, that means it's not often found in full-service pet shops because they are quite expensive. Retail buy buyers should expect to pay upwards of 20000 for a young hyacinth, perhaps more for a mature, ready-to-breed adult. Pairs bring top dollar, especially if they are prov proven, having bred successfully before. Because these birds are, not, are so rare, many of them are in breeding pro programs rather than being bred by novices. Many breeders hope eventually to reinforce, reintroduce these species into the wild, where their numbers are rapidly decli declining. It is almost not fair to the species to see them in pet-only homes when there is a real danger that this beautiful giant may disappear forever. That's all for Hyacinth Macau. 
thank you